Hello everyone. Uh, today we continue with how to draw a bar uh, chart or a bar plot using Matplotlib. Uh, so using Matplotlib, you can uh, uh, write the uh, uh, the bar chart like here by reading the CSV file. So CSV file is a text file which contains data and separated by comma. You can also read this file by using Excel or plain text ID and any other ID for coding. So for example, in uh, Visual Studio Code, you can open and read this. The first line is uh, the list of properties name and from the second line uh, is data. So the data here is separated by comma for uh, each property or each attribute. So in main.py, you can uh, calling you can call the function inside the wrap.p. In uh, wraps.py, py, I define a function name with CSV. So this CSV file allow you to open a CSV with name. So typing with open csv dot uh, movie dot csv mean the detail part of the csv file and you open it as an object of file on a file object. Uh, if the file object is null, so the width syntax or the block code in the width cannot be run. And import CSV library, you import CSV library of Python and import CSV, we can uh, create the object of CSV reader and uh, calling CSV dot uh, dictionary. Uh, uh, dictionary means a function to read the CSV file object and fetch to an object of dictionary CSV reader. Uh, adding Python debugger with set trace here allow you to read the to debug step by step your function. And this CSV import this CSV from wraps and calling this CSV here and run. Okay. So here we uh, can see the program run to this line and end this line. So run without debugging. So set trace. And the code line uh, will be stopped or at here. Then you can type list or L. L mean list of the current uh, code line. So list uh, means uh, list the current line of code. Then type CSV reader here. The CSV reader um, has uh, is an object as the specific address. You follow the CSV reader to iterate on the row on the row object in the CSV reader, and you add uh, the import PDB in here, and then run without debugging. So we have the row objects in this. We can type row here to show the detail objects by uh, typing row and enter to see the detail object here. The, the row here is an order dictionary means a dictionary with uh, some key and value pair. So to access this, you can access like to access to an array by row and uh, double quote to uh, get the value for film from or another way general or audio audience score percent etc you can also type here for testing how to access the data inside a, an order dictionary in python So after iterating the CSV reader and fetch and read every row in the CSV reader, you can get the specific 
property by calling row for example row fint and assign to the theme name variable and the theme name objects and the same as list studio audience score profit and year etc so we have a various uh, properties in this row so in main.py py you run the program again and type uh, type a list to see the current uh, line for example list to show the current line of code in here uh, so import pdb is a line of 32 you type theme name over oh, here yeah. you type list studio you type audience score profit profit etc you type any properties an audience score so in this way you can determine which property is string or which of property is uh, number and you can cast in your value you can cast a value to the to specific type uh, to read and the theme is an array is a blank array and you uh, append the object into this blank array by using a pen to push uh, the an element to the array uh, so here it is an dictionary with key and value with custom key and value as I define so we add the key theme name with the theme name general with general the left is key name and the right is a value okay so we have general theme name etc many properties many properties okay so we have two properties like here and the same as any other properties you can add to uh, the dictionary and you push the dictionary or append the dictionary to the list of themes yes uh, you can add the code write the code as uh, with line here for easier to read maybe so you press to here and, and run the program again to debug by run without debugging and here yes move bigger so type a list or error to see the current line of code so themes here there is an array the array of theme here uh, it means that we have some misunderstanding you must add a theme to the line of 30 to or uh, move it to here you move it to before the pen before the for loop and here you print out that you that end up reading csv file so when you see this line end up reading csv file it means that uh, the process of reading csv is end it's ended so run start debugging press debug python so the program will move to here and stop at here by using debugger of the visual studio code the visual studio code and in this you can see the detail object like here you can see the detail object it's a list by uh, clicking to the object and expand the the specific value for seeing okay so we have many uh, item in the list so stop here and return themes the function return an array of theme and it is named read csv so you can also define another function name draw theme by years Draw theme by years means that how many theme in the in this year, how many themes in another year, and etc. or so the number of themes for specific years. And in this, you can know time how many theme in a specific year, and you draw a graph 
to depict uh, X and Y plot. So, for example, here we have some of the same year because in that year it has one uh, the one film in a specific year. So by counting this, you can for loop to count, but you can also use the counter, uh, the counter function in uh, collections module. So you define a years, uh, years name, the years property, a list of year property in the theme. So we extracted by using uh, for themes in themes. Themes, I mean, the plural form means an array and the single form is a, a specific object or one object, yes. And the years, uh, the years has, a uh, year is an array of years. So you print the years to the screen or to the console uh, to see and to count by, uh, by by manual counting and themes equal to read CSV. Calling read CSV, we have themes array. And in main.pi, you import the draw themes by year. Draw themes by year. Okay. And uh, calling this by draw themes by year, input parameter is themes. You add a theme as input parameter of draw themes by year. So debug and run without debugging. So here we see the array with some uh, of the same value. So here, yes, the, so I can count the value and compare the value of the specific years list for uh, the years property in the CSV for checking. Yes. So then you use the counter function to uh, count the number of theme for specific years. And in wraps.pi, you uh, so you counter counter is an array and the counter array is equal to counter years yes and the counter years may be a dictionary not an array and you uh, set a breakpoint to this line and run the program start debugging choose python file and then here so up here I can see the year the counter has key and value pair. Uh, the the lab is year and the second is number of theme for this year. So we have a key and value key. So from this key and value you must extract to uh, to array and I use to array uh, for displaying the plot. For, uh, for two array. The first array is a filter year. So filter years means that the years uh, but not duplicate year or distinct value. And the number of film is uh, the specific uh, number. So you iterate the counter dictionary by four key in counter dot keys. Counter dot key return a, a list of key and for key in counter dot keys, uh, get the keys, uh, get the uh, every key in the key list, and you append to filter years by filter years dot append key and number of themes dot append the value for a specific key by counter dot get key. Counter dot get key means that. Uh, getting the value for a specific key and run without debugging or start debug choosing your debug file and uh, print years so after printing years I can see here and the number of theme is here okay 
So we have a two array, and I even use two array for plotting by calling pyplot dot bar and here themes, uh, filter years, number of themes, and uh, color equal to uh, the color here. Uh, for example, blue, yes, blue, blue or red or hexacode. Uh, you can use as a code so comma and add uh, label label means the description of the plot or the chart by low, uh, label themes uh, by years theme by years is a label okay so you print the years or uh, the list of years and you pipe plot also to display the graph or display the plot. Uh, okay, main.pi and run. Uh, run without debugging. And you can see the graph or the plot like here. Okay, this is a pipe plot or the basic plot of bar. And you can also use it to. Uh, you can change to edge bar edge mean the bar horizontal to display so the, the, the wrap by horizontally uh, like this okay so you can also change uh, the color the label legend etc many parameter of this wrap so close this and define by def define a function another function name draw themes by profits it will draw uh, the, the the plot of profits by theme uh, and here you can copy this theme uh, themes name is an array of theme name extracted from the name property of the themes list so theme here uh, get the theme name property from the themes. So getting it by for loop using for themes in themes allow you to get an array of a specific property in a specific list of objects. And so theme names is a list of string. So theme name for themes in theme name. And add it to the the array of film names, films name. And uh, here, uh, so we ha have another property like an uh, another property like profit. Uh, it is also add to the profits array, and casting every. Uh, member uh, every element to uh, float so the float is here and by casting float profit to uh, plot by casting it uh, so here I can draw the plot by calling by with the um, theme name and profit colors uh, color is blue and label fin by profit and in this you can import uh, the function draw themes by profit from wraps file or wraps module you import by using this syntax and calling comment analysis and calling draw themes by profit Input parameter is themes, themes array, and pyplot show to display uh, the the graph or display the plot. Okay. Here, so in this case, you can see we have various uh, value because the theme name, the character theme name is long. So in the bottom, you see it is. Uh, so narrow so you can see cannot see 
uh, you can also define a class name csv reader the class here has some property to access the csv and draw the graph so defining class csv reader here so in class uh, csv reader we define a constructor init init is a, an instant constructor with parameter and the parameter here file name we define the constructor we initialize the theme array to a blank array we define a theme dot theme file name is equal to the file name in parameter of the constructor so self dot file name is equal to file name and wrap dot pi in wrap dot pi you cut this function cut and paste to uh, and paste to the internal method of csv reader so pasting to here and then uh, the function here self dot theme is equal to a blank array and you bold this and tap to ensure that it is a block of the read csv function yes and change uh, this to self dot file name self dot file name is a property of class or object csv reader okay so return not necessary because it changed the self dot name in the class csv reader and self csv reader replace to here to append uh, a new dictionary into the themes object yeah and in graphs.pi you continue to copy the draw themes by here yeah, define draw the draw theme by years and self because it access to the existing properties self.themes okay so self.theme change here to self.theme and casting to integer uh, in graph.pi uh, continue to cut and paste to the inside of csv reader yes here we also have here self in self.theme self.theme okay there's quite a clearly to understand this is quite a clear and in main.pi now you have to yes here okay good in main.pi you import the csv class removing this firstly and from csv file csv reader file or in csv reader module you import the csv reader class remove this unnecessary and create a csv reader initialize uh, the csv reader object by calling the constructor csv reader uh, input parameter is movies dot csv okay and you can call the function inside the object csv reader so here it is a constructor mean when you initialize the object it is called and now you can call the, the method by csv reader dot draw uh, or read csv firstly it is an instant method instant method is a method specific to a object not a class is different from the class method or static method okay so csv reader here dot draw themes by year so uh, change it it is the same as more module is the, as is the same as with fine in python and click here so you can comment out this line and csv reader dot draw themes by profit input parameter is 
uh, sales.film okay so you can also see the output like here is uh, long because you have many sample in the CSV file you can also uh, edit more and remove so thank you very much for watching this bye bye